Hi guys, we are on our Canva push again and we are creating our own logo. The Canva platform allows you to create a logo for yourself or your business free of charge and very quickly. There are lots of templates to use or you can create your very own. So log in to your Canva platform and if it doesn't automatically show up in the designs, search for logo and click and you get a standard 500 by 500 box. Now the logo templates are actually super useful in Canva and they are totally changeable. So you can mold any template that you like the look of into your ideal logo. So if you have a look down and see, you can always click on all and get more options too. But we have cafe logos, DJ logos, games, soccer logos, there's beauty, there's absolutely all kinds of possible results. And then when you get down here, you've got all results. So you can just look through and see which one catches your eye. Remember if there is a an image, an icon or a template that you like, but not 100%, you can change that to be the perfect option for you. So have a look through, you can get some amazing inspiration as well. I kind of like that one there. As you see, this around is paid for. So look out when you click on it to see if it is a paid for one. We know that because it has the crosses everywhere on the image. So if we have one that has almost the right look that we are looking for, we can either Google a cup mark, which that looks like a T mark, or you can Google circular icon, for example, circular image. There's another one here. And that one's free. So see, it's that, that easy. You can find a circular one that is also free. It's not obviously exact. If we go into our elements, we can search, oops, we have to spell it correctly first. Circle. So you see that there's a free one here. We could change that, that's similar. That's quite cool. And if you make a change that you don't like, you can simply go back. Change that color. Something that's more our style. Or we can just go back to what we had. And even this, done we can change the color of. So this logo is lovely, but I would really like it in more of a goldy color. There we go, nice. And we have a circular looking logo already. The guides always show you when you are in the center. So I could change this to my name. Tony Pula. I am not sold on the text they have used. <laughs> that looks more like me, got to be honest. So if you are not totally sold on the text, then you just change it to whatever you want. There are also some awesome font makers online. So if you Google, for example, graffiti font and go to a graffiti font maker that allows you to download a PNG transparent image, you can actually just drag it in as a photo and use that as your 
font. So playful I like. Where is it? I'll put it in. Playful. Playful script. And we can make that slightly bigger. Change the color on that. See the gold is preserved or reserved here because I've used it for the outside. It's a bit a bit too gold, but the whoops. I put at the card geek. Could have a full gold badge if I wish. You see this text is joined together. On the first video I showed you how to ungroup and then you can just manipulate one of them. We'll make this bigger. Not that big, Tony. Bit smaller. Okay, and then I drag this out to fit it all in. Change that. What color would I like? So as you see, you can manipulate the logos as you wish. You can also add in a Whoops, an icon if you so wish. You go to your elements. And as you go down, you'll see different icons available to you. Icons are great to use on logos. Let's see if there's anything with cards. Obviously, paying cards. But you could choose a logo then an icon see I would pay for that one I think that's worth paying for and then I have a finished logo move that to the back But you see, I've not spent any time on that and I could quickly just wash that off and use it for something super duper quick. Let's take one more example. I've deleted all of that now. We'll go back to templates. And we will... We'll, that's quite cute, isn't it? Tony! Rocks. Simples, and then you change the shape. Shapes are in your elements as well. Could have a yellow one. Could actually click on that and copy. So I have another one and change that to the pink that they had because that was an awesome neon pink. I've quite hit there we go and then we do a position backwards no liking that one and what's maybe a third one at the bottom just to finish it off change it to a bright blue position backwards and I have something that I can put on things. I could put that on a t-shirt, for example, and be quite happy with it. You can do this for your kids, even if you've got kids at school and they want a t-shirt with their name on, do that. Go to one of the free printing, well, they're not free to buy it, but the printing services and you've got a design for it already you can put that on a mug if you like tony rock so logos are super easy to do on canva i would love to see your attempts at a logo what kind of logos do you like have you created one with canva if so tag me in on social media at the car geek 
or at All Star Space. And I would love to give it a big thumbs up. Have a wonderful day and let me know how you get on with the Canva platform.